There's been so much happening in the AI world recently, especially yesterday. In this video, we're going to cover all the exciting updates. We've got perplexity pages transforming search results into interactive wiki-style articles, Apple giving Siri a major upgrade to control apps with voice commands, and a wild new AI streaming service called Showrunner that lets you create your own shows. But that's not all. Anthropic's Claude AI can now autonomously interact with tools and data sources while OpenAI took down covert disinformation ops from Russia, China, Israel, and more. So let's talk about it. All right, Perplexity AI launched a cool new feature called Perplexity Pages, which basically turns the search results from their AI assistant into Wikipedia-style pages. So let's say you ask Perplexity a question about a topic, like, what is the history of the Renaissance? Instead of just giving you a bunch of text, it'll create an entire page with different sections, kind of like a Wikipedia article. And you can customize the tone and style of the page to make it more casual or more formal, depending on your audience. But you can also add images, videos, and other multimedia elements to these pages to make them more engaging and easier to understand. And if you want to tweak the content or rearrange the sections, you can do that too with follow-up prompts. Once you've got your page looking just the way you want it, you can share it with others or even publish it to Perplexity's library of user-generated content. And if people have follow-up questions, they can ask them right on the page, creating an interactive learning experience. This launch is a big move for Perplexity AI, showing they're not just about search anymore. They're going into content creation and sharing, which is a growing trend. Earlier this year, they raised $62.7 million, reaching a $1 billion valuation. To be honest, Perplexity has been on a roll lately, raising a ton of money and partnering with companies like SoundHound and Rabbit. This Pages feature is just another example of how they're trying to make AI more accessible and useful for everyone. Okay, now, Apple is giving Siri a major upgrade and it's going to be a good one. So essentially, you will be able to control specific features within your apps just by using your voice. With the new update, you'll be able to give Siri commands like open this document or move that note to a different folder or even send an email from my work account. This is a huge step up from what Siri can currently do, which is mostly just broad general commands. The new Siri is going to be way more precise and capable of handling intricate tasks within your apps. Now, here's the catch. The new Siri won't be available right away when iOS 18 drops in September. Apple is planning to roll it out in a later update next year, and there are even rumors that it might come with a subscription model. But when it does arrive, it'll work with Apple's own apps first, and then potentially expand to third-party apps down the line. Of course, Apple is taking privacy seriously too. Some of the processing will happen directly on your device, while more complex tasks will be handled in the cloud, kind of like what Microsoft is doing with their new Copilot Plus PCs. We'll get all the details at Apple's Worldwide Developers Conference in June, where they're expected to unveil a ton of other cool stuff too. And who knows, maybe they'll even give us a hint about which AI team they're teaming up with, OpenAI or Google's Gemini. So stay tuned, because the future of Siri is looking seriously impressive. All right. Now, there's a new AI streaming service on the horizon, and it's aiming to shake up the entire TV landscape as we know it. It's called Showrunner, and it's being developed by a startup called The Simulation. Now, these guys are already known for creating AI-generated episodes of South Park, which is pretty crazy in itself. Guys, have you heard about the Screen Actors Guild strike? Yeah, it's all over the news. But with Showrunner, they're taking things to a whole new level. Essentially, Showrunner will allow you, the viewer, to create your own shows using artificial intelligence. So you'll be able to write and direct your own AI TV shows, tailoring everything from the dialogue to the voices and animation styles. All you'll need to do is provide a few pieces of text and the AI will bring your vision to life on the screen. <laughs> Now, I know this sounds too good to be true, but the hype is real. Showrunner already has a waitlist open, and over 50,000 people have signed up for early access. They've even teased some original series posters, giving us a glimpse of the animation worlds and styles we can expect. She doesn't remember us. Or what if she's different? I don't know. Remember when mom used to mess up recipes and we'd end up with whatever that was she tried to bake that one time? Of course, not everyone is on board with this whole AI and filmmaking thing. We saw a lot of skepticism and pushback from industry professionals during the SAG-AFTRA and WGA strikes last year. Big names like Tom Cruise and Nicolas Cage have spoken out about the threat of AI replacing real actors and writers. But let's be real. 
This technology is here, and it's only gonna get more advanced. So why not embrace it and have some fun with it? Who knows, maybe your AI-generated show will be the next big hit. So keep an eye out for Showrunner's official release date, because this is one streaming service that's definitely gonna shake things up in a major way. Okay, now, Anthropic just announced the general availability of a game-changing new feature called Tool Use for their AI assistant, Claude. It allows Claude to autonomously interact with external data sources, APIs, and tools. That means Claude can now automate tasks, personalize recommendations, and streamline data analysis in a way that's never been possible before. Now, according to Anthropic, they have prioritized security and data privacy every step of the way. They've rigorously tested Claude to protect against vulnerabilities and attacks, and their advanced safety systems are constantly on the lookout for any potential issues. But the really cool part is that they've made tool use incredibly intuitive and accessible, even for developers who are new to the AI game. All you have to do is define a tool set for Claude and communicate your goals in plain old natural language. Anthropic believes AI should augment human capabilities, not replace them. And I'm totally on board with that philosophy. Well, exciting times ahead, my friends. Exciting times indeed. Okay, finally, OpenAI just announced that they disrupted several covert influence campaigns from Russia, China, Israel, and Iran. These campaigns were trying to manipulate public opinion and political outcomes using AI-generated content, but OpenAI was able to stop them. Here's what happened. OpenAI found five campaigns that were using their AI models to create fake text and images. These were then posted on social media platforms like Telegram, X, and Instagram. The goal was to spread misinformation without revealing who was really behind it. They identified two Russian campaigns called Bad Grammar and Doppelganger which focused on spreading negative narratives about the war in Ukraine, the US, NATO, and the EU. The Chinese campaign, known as Spamiflage, was creating content in multiple languages to criticize people like actor Richard Gere and dissident Kai Jia, and to highlight issues like abuses against Native Americans. There was also an Iranian network called International Union of Virtual Media, which generated articles critical of the US. Lastly, the Israeli campaign, dubbed Zero Zeno, targeted the United Nations Agency for Palestinian Refugees in Canada. Despite these efforts, OpenAI said that these operations didn't gain much traction or reach large audiences. They emphasized their commitment to safe and responsible AI and their proactive approach to stopping malicious use of their technology. This news is particularly relevant right now, as AI's potential to spread disinformation is a hot topic, especially with major elections happening around the world. Just last week, a political consultant in New Hampshire was charged for using an AI-generated impersonation of President Biden in robocalls. So while AI can be used for good, it's clear that it can also be misused. Kudos to OpenAI for staying vigilant and working to keep things safe. All right, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more updates. Thanks for tuning in and we'll catch you in the next one.